Hi everyone, my name is Nico. Welcome to my channel. Uh, okay, so today we'll be doing a full process all the way from an empty grid to modeling a coffee cup and then rendering it. Okay, so we're going to first start with just adjusting the grids. Um, so you would have seen me change the grid or make sure the grid is in centimeters and also the little grids, we're adjusting them to one centimeter each and we're going to increase the perspective view so that we've got a few more grids that we can look at here. Next, we're going to be reaching out to the primitives and adding a cylinder. Okay, the cylinder is the closest thing to a cup, so that makes sense. We're going to make a few adjustments. So we're going to change the radius and the height. So it's uh, 7 centimeters and 11 centimeters each. Uh, bring back down the segments down to 1, 1. Okay, next. Oh, uh, okay, I think I clicked something wrong here. Okay, let me just close this window. Okay, and that's it. Now, we're going to move the cup so it's in the middle of our grid. So we're going to adjust it to zero, zero, and zero. Next, um, uh, we just hit F4 so we can actually look at all the edges. Uh, but no, what we need to do is convert it to an editable poly. Now, once we've done that, we should be able to select the vertex, the index, and the polygon. So if we hit the bottom polygon, we're going to start working on shaping the bottom part of our cup. So we're going to go to scale. Okay, that's a little bit too narrow. So we're going to just find, um, just do a you know by eye and uh, figure out what works best once we've done that we're going to um, hold the shift key and um, scale and be able to basically have another polygon face underneath and we're going to do that a few times just to give it a little bit of volume and a little bit of shape now, um, what we're gonna do is gonna lift the middle one a little bit. So now, see that gives you a nice shape and a nice edge down the bottom of the cup. And it's not too narrow, it's it's just, it's just right. I mean, it's up to you guys. But now we're gonna reach out and collect all the edges around the cup and add some connectors. And we're gonna add maybe about six connectors. Um, now, the reason for this is that we will basically be able to select each and every one of these squares as a polygon and extrude it for the handle. So now what we have, guys, is a, um, and guys and girls, is a uh, cylinder. And it doesn't look like a cup just yet. We haven't had a handle yet. But um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spin it around until we find one of the polygon faces that is perpendicular to one of the axes like here we go so now we're going to select one of the faces and we are just going to hold shift and move down the um, y axis and that will extrude it next we're just going to just drop it down so we're going to change it to the rotate and then we're going to go back to the move and shift and move down the z axis and then we're going to basically um, turn it around again and make it face the cup. Ah, here we go. And that's it. So now we want to connect the handle to that polygon. So that square polygon. So how do we go about doing that is there is a bridge option. Now, but uh, we need to first select the polygon faces. Here it goes. Okay. And there. So now we should have the two faces of the po two polygon faces selected and hit bridge. And there we go, guys. So now we've got a handle. Um, the handle's a bit square. So we're going to make a few tiny adjustments to the handle. So by selecting edge, we can drop it down a little bit. So it's not so square at the top. And we can do the same thing here as well. So we don't have this, we, we don't have a narrow top, but we still have some volume on the handle at the top. We're gonna to do the same thing down the bottom. So we're gonna bring it up a little bit. So there we have it. Okay, so now from the side, that looks all good. But now what we're gonna do is just give it a little bit of a, um, a, a narrow feeling. So by selecting edge and scaling it on the uh, Y axis, that will basically narrow the handle a little bit. And that's good. Okay, so now that gives us a little bit of a shape that we will be looking for in a handle for a cup. So there's plenty of room to put your fingers through there. And um, and it looks like a sturdy, sturdy handle as well. So that's fine. That works well. And we just make a few little adjustments here so it's nice and round okay nice and shapely 
Okay, and that works well. Okay, now we have um, a problem here because we've got the inside of the cup, but the inside of the cup, we have a, the faces are facing outwards. So well, a couple of ways we can do this is by creating a copy element of the cup and scale it inwards, which is what we're gonna opt to do here. So what we're gonna do is select the whole cup and now hold alt and remove the bits that we don't need okay now with that we've got the main cylinder of the cup selector we're going to go ahead and hit scale and we're going to scale it inwards by holding control and shift okay now you can see that it's kind of dropped a little bit and yet yeah, we're going to hit clone the element so now the inner inner cylinder doesn't Quite match the outer cylinder cylinder by height so we're going to hit f for front view and we are going to go to the move object and just move the gizmo up a little bit until the outer cylinder and the inner cylinder align okay you can do that by um by just uh, moving it up and down you can be more precise with this if you like but um, that's okay. Now we're going to flip it so we actually got the the outside face facing inwards. So that way we have um, the two faces uh, facing the correct direction. So now we, if we hit uh, border, there's a little cap button on the right hand side. And that will just fill in those two gaps where the handle was. Now if we click the edges of the inner and the outer cylinder and go ahead and hit bridge it would fill in the hole around um, the top of the cup. So there we go, guys. Um, we are almost done. So now what we've got to do is we're going to add some um, chamfers. Chamfers will stop you from um, distorting the cup once we hit Turbo Smooth. Turbo Smooth just rounds off the polygons, makes the cup more smooth. But if you don't have the chamfers, it will basically uh, just distort the cup. It won't even look like a cup. Um, so what we to avoid that we click all the edges and okay I think I've clicked more edges here than I intended to let me try again you, do, you can do that do this one by one but I, I usually try to click as many as I can so then I basically do one chamfer setting and uh, it does it all very very quickly for me that way if, you know horses for courses you can do it any which way you like but here you go guys so we're gonna click all that and go to the other side now go to the bottom part so flip it down and that's it as this check on the outside yeah that looks good that looks good excellent now we're going to hit the chamfer button on the right hand side and now we're going to select by how many centimeters do you want the um the chamfer to to be applied so you can increase it quite a bit but then you can see how it distorts the cup even without turbo smooth. So something right, 0.2 or maybe 0.1 is still distorting. Maybe 0.01 work, 0.05, that, that works fine. So we just keep that one there, hit um, the tick button. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom part so that the edges are kept after we hit turbo smooth. Um, and we're gonna do that one there, chamfer that in. And okay, we can't click the all the edges for the bottom part by double clicking that doesn't work um so unless you want to go all the way around but for now let's just grab one one of the rings and do the chamfering on the um second inner ring the way to, you're going to se can select the the uh, the edge for the inner one is so you hit polygon hold control and hit edge you straight away um, we'll select all the edges um, in one go and you can do that one as well so now we've done the bottom chamfering we've done the cup handle chamfering now we're going to do the chamfering for the um, the uh, lick of the cup so we're going to do the outer one again the whole idea is that it's not too rounded um, once we hit turbo smooth so there are some edges there now we can play around with this until we get it right. Um, again, we're kind of trying to do this very, very quickly. But yeah, if you spend more time on it, you probably get it um, looking really, really good as well. Now I like how that looks. Um, 
but the edge is a little bit sharp for my liking uh, for this cup. So let me see if I can drop one of the edges a little bit. Um, and so let me remove Turbo Smooth and yeah, select one of the edges. Again, it's not, it's, it's really what, what you like right at this stage. I mean, we have the cup. So if you hit Turbo Smooth, there's the Turbo Smooth in, in, in operation. It's actually functioning right now, only on one iteration only. We'll adjust the iteration for Turbo Smooth a little bit later. But for now, I'm just trying to get this particular line. So it's dropping in a little bit. But I think there's just not enough real estate for that to happen. So, okay, I think I might just leave it. Um, but yeah, we wasted a bit of time there for, for getting that right. But what I'll do is I'll just, yeah... Uh, I could, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we'll just leave it for now and just hit Turbo Smooth. I think let's increase the iterations as well um, from one to uh, maybe two or maybe three. Let me change that now to three. Yeah, that looks much, much better. So you can see how the handle looks good. It's not distorted. It's, t it's basically um, attached to the body of the cylinder. So that's it, guys. That's the model for the cup next let's add the plane so the cup sits on something so um, let's just do that and let's also add the environment just make sure that we have um, an environment um, functioning for us just to use map we can change that from black to white but i'm just going to leave it there for now um, next we're going to go ahead and add the sun and uh, we just have to find out which direction we the sun in. So I like the sun to come from the side so we get um, the nice drop shadow of the handle as well. See, that works nice. So now what we can do is adjust where the sun is. Now, unlike in Unreal and other um, uh, live uh, rendering engines, you don't see the end result straight away, um, but you can. Uh, I just haven't um, done the rendering option just yet i'm just putting the few lights in there first uh, now let's add some materials uh, what we're going to do is um, select uh, something from the cosmos library and if you're going to see here if you hit materials now we want the cup we can do a plastic cup glass uh, cup or ceramic cup if we want but for this time around we'll just basically look at a straight out plastic cup and um, there we go type in plastic and you can select any which one you want i'm going to select the first one off off the um off the row there and once i've selected that because i've got the cup selected i'm just going to hit um, assign the material to the selected object which i just did notice how it just changed color to green you don't see the render until you go ahead and hit the v-ray rendering engine um, option for now uh, it looks green so let's go ahead and see what we can find for the plane so I'm opting for wood uh, select any one of them here I'm not too fast at the moment so let me go ahead and download this one this one's quite colorful so let's go ahead and download that we go ahead and import it and you see on the right hand side now we've got two materials the cup material and the floor material we're going to close that window and now it's, and now what we can do is we can go ahead and see how we go from this view to the V-Ray render view. So um, notice how I hit um, uh, render setup. Notice how V-Ray 6 is active. So if we just go ahead and hit the render button, which is the kettle with the lightning on it, there it is. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Uh, 15 minutes uh, we're done so now this is only from the perspective view so you can see the cup um, and the floor and the sun is shining onto the cup from the perspective view so now we can say hands up done we we've done our renders you can hit save the save button on the top right hand corner and push this out to a still image and there you have it you've got a nice shadow and you've got a cup ready to go Okay, everyone, hope that was useful and showcases the process from zero to render using 3ds Max and V-Ray. 
Uh, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this type of video, feel free to add your comments in the comment section of this video. I've also added a few links down the bottom. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a coffee and keep my motivation engine running, they'll be fantastic. I've also added the model as well to the, uh, the, the link to the model in the description below. Okay, until next time, bye for now, stay safe and happy. Bye-bye.